Etheria has always been a land of living legends. Today I will share to you guys what you will get becoming a member. By becoming a member you will support my future content on this channel. It will really help a lot. It doesn't matter how much you donate, every single dollar counts. Level 1 Zero, ninety-nine dollar. No matter what you choose, you will get these custom emblems. Depending on how long you've been a member. Well, you will get these following emojis. These are the base emojis that will always be here. If you guys have any suggestions for new emojis, make sure to message me on Discord or any other social media you can think of. First one is the GG emoji, of course, very essential. The next one is the Uno Reverse emoji, a suggestion by a member previous and of course you always need the f in the chat emoji when someone fails i decided to add a thank you emoji this might change in the future i'm not sure i hope you guys consider these perks and i hope you guys stay awesome bye bye defending against an ancient evil known as the old ones using the power of the eternia crystals the old ones were locked away for a time bringing peace to ethereum not so long ago, our brave heroes accidentally unleashed this ancient force, summoning an ancient army of demons, goblins, and dragons to reclaim their lost power. Victory after victory, our heroes continued to hone their abilities and grow as defenders of the land. Through an unsealed evil, a new threat has formulated a way to foil our heroes' noble quest and make Etheria theirs once and for all. The Huntress, Apprentice, Monk, and Squire are flung into battles of the past. With their power sapped and smaller than before, our heroes must use their wisdom and experience to unravel the mysteries of this rift in time, ready to take on the evils that lay before them. All right, Dungeon Defenders Awaken. I just wanted you guys to be able to listen and listen to the cutscene there for the start uh this is actually a sequel game to dungeon defenders 2 if you guys haven't played that game you should probably play that before this if you ever do uh, i'm thinking about playing through that game as well because the campaign is not that hard to get through uh this series is so awesome i'm a big fan of this series the first time i played it was on the xbox i have like all the different versions on every different platform i think that i actually have owned and what I mean by that is I used to play it on the 360. Uh, I got it on my PC, uh, the main game, because they released it on PC not too long after. Uh, it came out on the Xbox uh, 360, of course. And then they released like a super DLC game where they added more characters and stuff. That was pretty cool. Uh, Done in Defenders Eternity, which means you get way more stuff in it. And then they spent a lot of time uh, developing Def Done in Jesus, Dungeon Defenders 2, uh, which was supposed to be a, like a MOBA game, but they changed it in the la like last. Uh, they decided to change it after they were working for it for a bit, which I'm a fan of because um, MOBA game for this playstyle would be kind of weird uh, if you could build towers and stuff. <laughs> I don't know. That's at least my opinion, basically. So I'm so happy that they released this game though, because they returned to the the roots of. Uh, done in done in defenders and made it way better than it used to be which i'm a big fan of the graphics are like way better and i'm a really big fan of that so let's uh, click on the play button here i already played until level i think i'm level 32 i played a lot of my free time in this game <laughs> i'm not gonna play the same character i already played uh, I, I originally wanted to play this on the yes, nintendo yeah. switch but i'm currently playing it on the, the pc i hope it's not too laggy it seems like it's a bit laggy I might have to change the settings. Let me do that real quick. Turn on the setting for this particular. Let's go to, I guess high should be fine, I hope. Apparently my computer can handle more. It's pretty laggy on the preview right now, which is really weird. I don't know why. I guess I can turn on the video a bit more. It's not really necessary to have a high resolution on this. It looks pretty good no matter what. Okay, now it's not as laggy on the game capture. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. All right, so here is the awesome game. I love this game so much. Uh, I really recommend you guys get this game. It's I think it's on sale when I bought this. 
Uh, it was like 21 euros uh, on Steam. So you should probably check it out if you want to get it. It's not that like fleshed out. Uh, there's no stores or anything. You can't buy anything. You have to grind for gear. It's not too bad. The 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 uh, wave system in this game is pretty satisfying. So, uh, all right, let's start uh, playing the campaign here. I'm gonna try all these modes, of course. Uh, so they have the campaign, the main story, and I think they're gonna expand the story later, hopefully. And we have survival when you survive waves to get special pets and stuff, which is pretty cool. And there's a challenge. Uh, you, can, you, you drew like challenges, old challenges that were in the game before. Uh, basically, back again. Mix mode, evil horse, descend, blah blah blah. Uh, makes sense of the medicine. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but I haven't tried that. But that, this is pure strategy. You just watch uh, the defenses protect your uh, Eternia crystals. So you should be careful if you do that. But I'm gonna start off in order, do the campaign, and then jump over to survival whenever I can, because I have a high level character. If I get another high level character, that would be amazing. All right. So let's uh, start from the, be uh, the st scratch here. I have to play easy. I already beat it on easy, of course, because I have to grind my character. So I'm going to play through the game on easy. It's uh, kind of... With the monk, it was really easy. I'm not sure w what it will be like to play as uh, the squire, but we'll see. You get to see the cutscene again, okay. At least I don't Ethereum have to... Has always been a land of living legends. I think it's more information Defending here, so. against an ancient evil uh, known as I think it's the old ones. Yeah, okay, you can skip it. Good. I don't have to see it again. I don't want to skip these cutscenes for the video, basically, so you guys get to see all the introduction cutscenes. It shows what difficulty you're playing on. Like, I love this, like, Welcome UI. Once again, brave defender to oh, the dungeons okay. I can skip Etheria. the I can skip the tutorial, because I've um, already done it. But anyway, so here you go. Here is the... Starting area. Oh, I, I selected the wrong hero. Oops. Gotta make get a new hero here. Add a new hero. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna go for the apprentice actually. This is for the beginners. This is for the intermediate. This is for the advanced, and this is for expert. I actually played uh, the monk because I love the monk way more. But we're gonna go for the uh, mage because he has mage. I don't. I don't know if he has ranged attacks or not. But it's gonna be named Sean. I just keep the randomly generated names. If you click the characters, you get new names. Brendan, Noodle. I think Noodle is perfect for this guy. So this is the mage. Okay, so his his one of his abilities he he makes everything like explode like that, and he has the ranged attack only, which I kind of love. I love being a mage in the game, so I'm probably gonna use this guy way more with the monk, of course, whenever I do harder difficulties. Uh, so currently he has, I think this is a magic missile tower. Yeah, I think that's just neutral magic. That's pretty good. Magic missile, damage 50, DPS uh, 18. Uh, the rate of attack is 2.85 seconds. I, I'm pretty sure you can infinitely upgrade these towers. So the higher level you get, these are gonna get crazy. So let's get into the build phase, so you can see uh, what doors will open. You can see how many enemies are gonna come through there. So I'm gonna place, I think, I have 160 mana and this cost, uh, how much does this cost? 40 mana each. So I think I can get two magic missile towers on each of these. Okay, wait, I actually wanna put it up here. So I can put more towers later. It's gonna probably be more fun to play as, uh, as this guy. Cause the auras are not the best sometimes. Uh, all right, so we got two magic missiles right there And if you guys ever want to play this with me and if you have a PC, of course uh, You can you can buy the game and play this with me on the let's play depends on if you guys want to of course I'm probably gonna do a let's play with my cousin as well where we co-op play this Because that's the one of the best I guess one of the best things with this all right, so got f uh, Four of these towers, so I guess we can start I don't have any loot yet, so I can't really upgrade anything. You can just shoot with my magic staff. And you know, whenever you find new weapons, you can use them as well. You can see how... I want to see how good the magic missile is. Oh, he won't. Going after me now. Let me see. I want to try this. Yeah, you can, like, uh, remove them from, like, a tower with this ability. That's pretty cool. And then, uh, you can see here... I. What is this ability? 
Okay, it's in the super explosion ability. That's pretty cool. What is it called, though? Don't know. Okay, that did kind of okay. Okay. Why did they not attack? Oh, these towers are slow as heck. I need to increase these, uh, like these uh, attack rate probably most, because they're really slow at the beginning, which kind of sucks. But as long as you have more towers, the better. All right, so they're gonna they're gonna come from that. So I'm gonna add two extra towers here, two extra magic missile towers. You can like rotate them where you want them to aim. Be focus aiming, of course. And I think I can place. I think I can at least upgrade to level one on these towers. I guess it's tier one. I don't know. Yeah, level one out of six currently. I guess level two, not level one. All right, there's some items here. Let's see. So I have a better staff. Let me equip that. Uh, I think I have to pick these up first, and then I can equip them in my inventory. Okay, we have some items that are not possible for me to use because they're level eight items. All right, let me equip this. I guess this one. Uh, I don't have a full set that this character can use for some things, so I guess I could use these guard equipment pieces right now. Uh, currently, I have a lot of money, so I can always already upgrade, so I'm kind of uh, in a, an advantage there because I already played the game, but it should be f not too bad. It's always good if you can upgrade early on. Alright, I'm going to upgrade armor, upgrade some more agility. That should be good. Upgrade for that amount of money. Very nice, indeed. And... Uh, Let's see here. Wait, I already have... No, oh, I don't have that guard helmet. Wait, did I just upgrade the other helmet? Yeah, that was a waste of upgrade, but whatever. <laughs> I have a lot of money, so it should, shouldn't be that bad, so... Alright. Upgrade to that level. And yeah, the staff is really important, so you get more damage right away. Uh, even though it's kind of wasteful to just upgrade, but, you know... The stronger the attack, the better. So I'm going to do 37 each hit with the staff. That's pretty cool. And uh, did I upgrade this? Yep, I did. Uh, you can actually reset it if you want to re redo the upgrade. Okay, escape is the way to exit out of that really fast. Um, all right, I'm going to go vitality, that, and then keep... Uh, these are not the best. Equip Wait, I don't have, don't have the right boots. Wait. Okay, I don't have the right boost. So I don't get the full bonuses for having the full set. I guess I shouldn't upgrade the boots. I'm probably not going to upgrade the boots then. Because uh, I uh, don't have the full set. So I've upgraded this, this, and that. That was pretty cool. I'm not going to upgrade these boots. So I'm going to try to get the guards uh, equipment. Oh, there's someone else. I didn't expect that. That's pretty fun. <laughs> All right, anyway, let me build the rest of the towers and go with uh, another two ma more magic missiles. I didn't expect a random person to join, but I'm playing these public, so anyone can join when you see me playing this. All right, I think that's good enough. I don't know. I can't upgrade. I need a hundred, at least a hundred to upgrade that. And I'm going to put some more towers right here whenever that door opens. I think it's the last wave, so that shouldn't be a problem help the towers on the like right now the magic missile is not the most powerful I don't know what the second is the second one level two I'm gonna get that real soon if I get level two currently on level one right now so okay, is this guy a higher level on me I'm not sure but I got just got a new level, so I can add some more stats. I'm gonna give more power and now oh, power and speed defense rate. Wonder how they changed. Yeah, it's a 2.19 now. That's pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna upgrade this one. All right, and I guess he doesn't have any mana right now, or something I should have. Uh, is it M? Oh, he wants to build. That's fine. Got you some mana so you can do stuff. Oh, let me go closer. There you go. I don't. What the hell is that tower? Danglers? Why are you putting lighting towers around? Oh, I guess that makes sense. That's pretty good. Pretty good. I guess not. That one is pretty stupid, but you know. 
Okay, it shows the, the area of effect. I think this is fine for now. Should be a... Wait, is there... I guess I can kill if I fail. Uh, no, that door is still closed, so... Should be fine, <laughs> I hope. I don't... Never expected people to actually join in. And I don't know why, like, the after picture looks like he's the old version of himself. Which is kind of weird, but okay. I guess they have the, the profile picture for the characters and look way different. For some reason, I, it looks a lot like it's just fan art. It's not made by the official creators. It doesn't look like it. Anyway. Alright, what's... Oh yeah, Lightning Tower. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Locks enemies and strips them of their elemental immunity. Oh, that's pretty cool. Are these any elemental thing? I don't think they are, right? Yeah, these are not elemental base. They're just magic, mis magical attacks. So, uh, currently there's. I guess I can use that for comboing these characters. Anyway, so I'm gonna have to build a tower over here. Oh yeah, this. Oh, I see what it is now. It's the barrier thing. Oh man. Uh, two towers here, and two towers on the other side as well. Alright, let's do... Oh, okay, this guy goes to the upstairs one. That's good. Don't have to worry about him going to the downstairs one. Hope these magic missiles can do more fast enough damage. Wait, okay, it's currently on 34 DPS. Alright, I think I should be good. Let's go to the combat phase. Okay, they haven't typed anything. That's interesting. Okay, I'm doing a lot of damage, so I can take these guys down if they're too scary. Because I don't think uh, the magic missiles will do too much damage. Oh, they actually killed the, the other one. That's perfect. Alright. They seem to do pretty good damage. Yeah, they do about what I do in DPS, so that's pretty good. I guess you can say. These guys are doing alright, I guess. <laughs> Let me change. Uh, add some new stats. It's always good to do this. I, I forgot to do this when I played, so I never upgraded my stats. Uh, it's always good to f not forget. <laughs> Guard shackles. I already have those. Don't need those. Whoa. What the heck? This is an upgraded... Oh, deadly striker. This is a super powered... Well, his DPS is way higher than mine. I guess he's helping out. <laughs> anyway. Should survive. It's just easy. I don't know why he's playing on an easy map match that's pretty weird but all right oh this one is all weird now hold on replace this again there you go okay i'm gonna upgrade this one and upgrade the other side one so it's one more powerful okay grab items uh i wonder if they can see what i get as well is this better than what i have i actually want to see here real quick Alright, it does. Okay, let me see if I can upgrade this one. Alright, ranged. It's 15, so that's gonna be a lot of power. Ah, it's not, it's pretty similar to what I have. No thanks. Anyway, if you don't pick up any items, they will be sold automatically, so you should pick up whatever you wanna pick up, of course. Alright, should be good sold all those items. Uh, I'm trying to get to a point where I get way more powerful items, but, you know, who knows. Oh, there's uh, way more now. Well, that does way more damage than I thought it would. It's pretty sweet. I should have played this guy all from the start. <laughs> He's the easy character you can learn really fast. And I, I love the monk, though, because uh, the monk is pretty good, too. Currently, my auras do, like, yeah, I think... 300 damage and it's like I think it's like 600 per second or something so it's pretty high level but you know I'll play a low level character even though they're like doing most of the work because they have des deadly strikers or they're about to get killed though because uh, they don't attack that often they're only like it's made for they're made for being a sniper towers basically okay I leveled up again very nice uh, increase my power and the I guess yeah the range and power is the important stuff to start with and then you can increase the range of your towers because this this is pretty good range for wait did I still 
have some more points? Did I fail putting in the points? Oh, there's way more points than I thought. So I can go to five on each, and I can go four on that. That's pretty cute. So now there's way more range than it was before. That's amazing. Uh, oh yeah, it's actually done. So I finished the first level, guys. That's awesome. View summary. Uh, that's a lot of stuff. All right, I'll leave this and go to tavern. So if you guys ever want to be a part of it, you can actually play with me. It's online co-op on PC. Uh, I hope it's gonna have. It would be great if it had like cr cross. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, there's no feature to turn around. That's fine. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Dungeon Defenders Awaken. I hope to see you guys then. Bye bye.